another testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. It is good to be back. Uh, we're going to get into this Tank and Ryan thing. I'm going to tell you why this is not a mega fight, um, because it isn't. So uh, before we get into this all, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, on all forms of social media. Quick hits comes at you every day, uh, 8 to 10 minutes a day, to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Um Please also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube, Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. Uh, please follow, again, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Uh, all right, let's get into this. Um, yeah, There's a lot of hype for this fight. This this Tank and Ryan fight, there's a lot of hype for this fight. Um, a lot of people are into this. A lot of people are down in Vegas uh, for this. Uh, and, and the boxing world's going going all in on this, which is cool. So I was speaking uh, to a friend of mine, big sports fan, big basketball guy, um, not a boxing guy. I, I told him the names, never heard of them. Call up your local sports talk show on on uh, your radio. Uh, call up, you got um, Sirius XM. Call up Mad Dog Sports. Tell him about, ask him about Ryan Garcia, Tank Davis. Two to say. It's not a mega fight. It isn't a mega fight, but this is going to do, what do you guys think it's going to do? Three to 400,000 pay per view buys? It's not a mega fight. It's a good fight. And, and, and the fight in the ring is good. It's a good action fight. I'm glad they're making it. It's, it, it and, and, and this may be the biggest fight of the year with that doesn't feature Canelo in it. It's just, it's this is not a mega fight. It's a good fight. I'm glad they're doing it in the action in the ring. There's good action. I, I think you know Ryan's got a, a a chemistry and 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 he with Joe Goosen and I think he's got a good formula. I think he has a path to victory to beat Tank. Although I, I don't think he's going to be able to execute that. I think Tank gets in eventually um, and stops him. I think there are two possible outcomes in this fight. Ryan early or Tank in the middle to late rounds, right? We'll say between six and nine. I'm officially picking Javante Tank Davis. Um, knock him out in the eighth. But um, I, I just want to break this down and explain to you why I'm saying this is not a mega fight. So you got Tank Davis. Tank Davis is not a current world champion. He's not a top 10 pound for pound guy. He doesn't have a great race. He's got a, a solid resume. He's got good names on his resume. But he's not a pound for pound guy. He's not a world champion. He's not defending a title. There's no title on the line. That's the A side. In the B side, you have a prospect. His best wins are um, Luke Campbell and Javier Fortuna. Luke Campbell, Javier Fortuna. Those are the names on his resume. This is what we're supposed to be wowed by. You got a prospect uh, who's unproven. A draw, a name, I get it. I was in San Antonio when he fought Emmanuel to go. You know, half a country away from where he grew up, where he lives, where he's from. Half a country away. Deep in the heart of Texas. He sold a ton of tickets. Mob with teenage girls who come out to see him. I I, I get his, his star power. But. There's not much to it, right? Like, there's just, there's, 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 he's good, but he hasn't proven it, right? There's nothing, there's, he hasn't proven. Like I said, his best win is Luke Campbell, Javier Fortuna. These are his best wins. I'm not saying he's not a good fight, he just hasn't proven. So, what you have is an A side of a guy who's not a pound for pound elite who's not a world champion in a non-title fight against a prospect who's largely unproven against anyone beyond the, the Luke Campbell.
It's not a mega fight, and, and, and we're not even projecting it. To, does anyone disagree with me that, that, that this thing is, is not a, a, a mega fight because it's only going to do between three and 400,000 pay view buys? That's not a mega fight. Like I said, call up your local sports talk radio show and ask me about this fight. I don't know what you're talking about. It's a good fight for the hardcore. It is, and I get this outside of the hardcore, there's some appeal. You know, Tank's got a fan base outside of that, and – Ryan's got a you know a teenage heart problem, whatever. But it's not a mega fight. I mean, this is not uh, Fury Usyk. It's not Crawford um, Spence. It's not even Canelo versus Pick a guy, right? It, it, when Canelo fights in, in uh, against John Ryder. Canelo versus random outmatched white guy is going to do more pay per view sales. So is Canelo versus Ryder a mega fight? No, it's a Canelo fight, which is cool, right? But it's gonna it, it it it's so Canelo's a pound for pound guy fighting a uh you know Ryder Canelo's a pound for pound guy defending all the belts against an overmatched guy that will do more than this. And if you don't think Canelo versus Ryder is a mega fight, then that's bigger than this, so this isn't. Number two is it's not. It's a good fight. Haney versus Loma is for all the belts at thirty-five, and it's a better fight. So that's a better fight. So there's a better fight on the horizon and a bigger fight. So how is this a mega fight? It's not. So let's get into the action real quick, and I'm going to make my prediction. I told you I think Tank is going to win by eighth round knockout. Uh, that's my official prediction. Um, Ryan's going to have to keep him to the outside. I, I want him to do what Barrios did, but do more of it. I want to touch him to the line, just try to keep Tank off of him, and then try to either walk him into a left hook, which I think he can be locked into, or, or land the right hand. You know, I, I think Ryan's best punch is his left hook, so he, he's going to want to land that. But he can, he's got power in both hands for sure. He's got you know power in, in, in his power hand. <laughs> he can land the right hand. Um, so... I think those are your options, right? I, I think Ryan's path to victory is catch him early because the longer this goes on and, and the more time, the more timing and 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 uh, rhythm that Javante can get into, he's going to get in. And the longer Ryan it goes on, the, the better chance he's going to get in and end the fight, right? And we know that he carries the power late. We've seen him behind on scorecards, and I think Ryan's going to be ahead on the cards <coughs> when this fight's over. Right, but it's not going to matter because they're going to be scraping them off the canvas, and I'm going to you're going to hear all the little fanboys and all the all the Tank Davis haters saying, "But but but Ryan was up on the scorecards." Who cares? Who cares? You know, Tank's going to destroy him, right? And 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 I think Ryan is going to be doing well for a moment. I think Ryan's a good fighter, but I think Devontae Tank Davis is different. He's bad different. Like once he gets on the on the inside, his his timing, his explosiveness, and his power, it's all there. He, once he lands, it's it. It's over. Good night. Um. So you know, I, I see him. You know, right now I would say, right, just keep him at the end of punches. Straight punches. Keep him at the end of your punches. Extend all the way straight punches. Keep him off you. Touch him to the body. Keep him comfortable. Um, and even if he does that, like Tank is so good, he's still going to he's still gonna do it. So he's got to pick up the pace too, and he's got to try to land something big. I don't think he lands that magic shot, so I think Tank gets him out. So let me know what you think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please uh, also give me your predictions for the fight. Uh, please check out the latest pod, uh, latest episode of MCR podcast on Texas Boxing Scene as well. Uh, it is February. No, it's not February. It's April 20th, uh, 2023 from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.